Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is not going to be a typical makeup video or about my boobs right now. Um, there are a couple things that I'm going to address today. <clears throat> I'm so upset, sorry. I'm like so mad. I am frustrated that I have to explain that I don't abuse animals on the internet. <sighs> That's insane to me that there are accusations that I abuse animals and that I'm racist on the internet. <clears throat> I haven't actually read this article that I'm gonna read in a second. It was brought to my attention on Reddit, it was someone had mentioned it to me on my animal Instagram last year sometime, I think, or maybe it was a few months ago. I can't really remember. However, they were like, hey, did you realize that someone's saying that you abuse your animals on Reddit? And I was just like, what? Like the amount of things that I do for animals, the amount of money that I donate to charity, and I would like literally lay down my life for an animal. To hear that, I was just baffled, and I was like, there is no way in hell that I'm going to give the time of fucking day to someone who wrote an article that's completely fabricated from nothing. No proof, no nothing. So I was just like, they asked if I was gonna address it, and I said, no, I'm not going to give it my attention or my time because it's so outlandish and so ridiculous and so just i'm just like my mind is literally blown that someone would make something up like that because that's a serious accusation it's almost like they know that it's like a hot button for me because i do care about animals so much so yeah why not accuse someone who loves animals so much of abusing her own animals so i'm gonna read this article and because obviously this has escalated and I have friends now texting me about this article just saying like, of course I defended you, I've seen your animals, I've seen your setup, like you treat them better than your boyfriend, but I just didn't know if you were aware this was out there. And so I'm hearing more and more about this and it's just shocking to me that there are people out there who are reading this. I know a lot of you are still supporting me and understand that you can't just believe something someone writes on the internet, you know? But it's just shocking to me that people do, and people are, and people are reading this article, and they're like, no longer supporting me or Arctic Fox because they believe this. And it's just, it's sad to me that there are people out there that are so sheep-like that they read an article and they see it as truth. So at this point, it's totally necessary for me to address this because it's gotten out of hand and the fact that like people are talking about it and my character is in question and my animal safety is in question is not only hurtful but so infuriating to me <sighs> like i'm i'm so mad right now <sighs> it's so frustrating so I'm gonna read this article um, and I'm gonna address, I, I don't wanna, this isn't gonna be a super long video, hopefully not, I'm saying that now. I'm not gonna rehash the later part of the video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on that, but I'm not gonna rehash the whole situation because I've addressed that last year and I've apologized and all I can do now is just be, do what I can do to be the best person I can possibly be and uplift other people and spread love. Like that's all that I can do. As for the animal portion, I think this I think this is going to be even more infuriating to read because of how untrue it is. So, first of all, before I do read this article, um if you don't know a lot about me, I oh, sorry, hang on. I did my eighth grade science fair project on horse slaughter. I have loved animals since I was a little kid. 
I was just at someone's house right now and just saved to be at a pool. Like I wouldn't even fucking hurt a spider. I, my company, Arctic Fox, we donate 15% of our profits to animal charities. Um, one of which is Animal Hope and Wellness, which is like super near and dear to my heart because they rescue dogs from the dog meat trade and dog meat slaughter in um, Cambodia and China and Yulin. Um, specifically, I don't want to lump China as a whole uh, for, for that because that's just not how that goes. But um, also just last week, I bought a brand new trailer for Viva Global Rescue, which I just visited and um, the movement that's going on right now needs time and people need to speak up and have their moment and be able to spread you know, their thoughts and feelings and learn, like ed help educate people. And so I haven't posted about it, but I did visit their animal sanctuary and they have rescued horses there. And I got to see the trailer that I purchased for them. So I paid half of my own money and Arctic Fox paid 40 for this brand new trailer for them. And it was just so cool to see like, you know, what they're doing with it. They just rescued um, a horse named Annie. If you see it on their stories, that's, that's her. And I just do, so m so much for animals and my own animals. One thing about me that you may or may not know is that I do rescue animals and I will set them up in the proper enclosures and then I will rehome them to a forever home. So I notice that some people get upset when they see me adopting out a rabbit or something and it's not, it wasn't my personal rabbit. It was a rabbit that I rescued took in because it was for free on Craigslist in like a cardboard box and I gave it a chance and helping animals is something that gives me so much joy and it's it's my calling in life so to be able to do that on YouTube is and just in life is like so beautiful to me trying my best like not to cry out of anger <sighs> so basically I think some people see that I'm like adopting an animal out and they think that it's one of my personal animals which I have adopted one out and there's a very good reason why and there's a whole story about that if you're interested um, but you know, it's, I, I rescue animals and I rehome them a lot of times, you know, and sometimes I end up deciding to keep them if I have a bond with them. And a lot of the times I will rehome them. Like I'm currently looking for a new home for a bearded dragon that I've had for a year now. I've spent thousands of dollars on vet bills. Um, we've tried to, sh she's got like some sort of a, um, a mummified egg in there. And so I've been trying my best to help bring her back to health and stuff. So that's one aspect of something that I do. And I, and I know someone mentioned that I'm, I'm called an animal hoarder in the video. Um, and let's just go ahead and take a look at the definition of hoarder. Um, Hoarding disorder is a persistent difficulty discarding or parting with possessions because of a perceived need to save them. This is like cars and things like that. A person with hoarding disorder experiences distress at the thought of getting rid of the items. Excessive accumulation of items regardless of actual value occurs. So um, I think there's a misconception between why I have so many animals and, you know, with the rescue portion of it and whatever. So a lot of, I have, I would say like six animals right now that need to find a forever home. So yes, sometimes I have a lot of animals and I have the necessary help for those animals. I actually have a person with a degree in zoology that takes care of my animals and she's 
at my house right now with my animals and she is amazing. She literally has a degree in zoology. I pay someone that has a degree in zoology to care for my animals because I want them to have the best care possible. That is super important to me and you know, that is something that you have to do when you have that many animals. You need help. It's not possible to care for that many animals by yourself. If I had so many animals where I didn't have the time to care for them or let them out of their cages or do those things, I would either find them a new home where they would have that, but I, I w wouldn't let that happen, first of all. But if, if that were the case, I would find them a new home because I care more about their health, their safety, and their quality of life over owning an animal. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but, or I would hire more people to help me because if that's what, if that's what I wanted to do, that's what I would do. Um, you know, fortunately, with my animal account, I use that money to redo my animal cages. I use that money to rescue animals and put them in better cages. And that is something I'm so passionate about. I'm never going to stop doing that. So, you know, if you don't like that, then ugh, I don't know what to tell you. That's, I'm not going to stop doing that. Um, you know, if I couldn't afford it or if I couldn't afford the help and I was getting it over my head, like, first of all, I'm a very responsible person. Um, you don't create like a business online and, you know, and, and stick with that and have that ambition if you don't if you're not careful with the decisions that you make and the things that you do and the decisions just that you make in general you know I'm not a perfect person I make mistakes but my animals in no way shape or form are neglected or abused like you can see how happy they are on my Instagram page and you know it's not new you're always gonna get people that are going to be unhappy with themselves and be keyboard warriors and speak badly to you and that's one thing that i've noticed in the animal space is it's a very touchy space because people are very very passionate about animals and you get attacked and you get bullied and you know it's it's like water off a duck you have to you have to you have to have a thick skin and i do for the most part but when i'm being attacked by multiple people for doing something that's not even in it's just so it's just like so fabricated. It's just like, holy shit, are you guys serious right now? And it's like one person that doesn't like you goes and makes an article and lies about everything in it and not everything. Because what we're going to talk about then, that, that is true. The part about the singing the song, and I will talk about that and I will address it again. I already have, but I will do it again for those of you that don't know what it is i want to be fully transparent and i'm here to just be honest and be myself and talk and that's all i can do you know so i'm gonna go ahead and read this article <clears throat> one of the reasons i haven't read this article is because i've heard bits and pieces about it and it's like my mental health is super important to me and Honestly, there's been a lot going on lately. I went through a divorce last year or when was that like a year ago? And that was really really hard on me. I moved across the country, you know, and so I kind of just Haven't wanted to read this because it's I knew it would upset me so much knowing How untrue all of it is if it was founded on something if it was real I might just go into hiding or something, but it's not real none of it is real <laughs> You know, and with Arctic Fox too, I, I have to say like, over, we donate 15% of our profits every single month, every year. So that is, that is millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars that could have gone in my pocket, but I donate it to charity, animal charity. And this month we're actually donating to 15% um, to Color of Change, which is, you know, you should check them out. I'll link you in the description box below. They're actually linked to my Instagram page as well. I've donated personally and 15% this month, which I personally decided to donate to them for this month. Um, so all of June, 15% of our profits are going to color of change. And it's like the amount of money that I have donated that I've not taken for myself and put in my own pocket has gone to charity. If I saw a hurt bird or like a, a hurt mouse, like I would do anything in my power to like save that animal. So here we go. All right, so this post has actually been deleted. It says, 
hey everyone we were asked by the op of this post to remove it from bgc so we took it down thanks so there's a few comments here so that's annoying because i did it's too blown out i'll put a screenshot so there is a couple comments here and i think a lot of things people latch onto on the internet it's it's unfortunate because these types of accusations can ruin people's lives lives and people's businesses and they should not be thrown around you shouldn't whoever wrote this I encourage them to step forward. They're hiding behind a screen name and you know, I don't know who these, this person is. Like identify yourself. Who are you? If you're going to say all these things about me, step forward and don't hide behind a screen name. Be, if, 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 if you know all of these things about me or you think you do, and this is your reality, show your face. I want to know who you are. Like truly like eh. I, 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 you know, you got to question someone's validity if they can't even show who they are or talk about who they are, or how they know me or how they know where my animals are kept. Like someone said something to me, like someone said, oh, that your animals are, are, um, you keep your mammals and your reptiles in the same room. I don't. My reptiles are in the room by my deck and my mammals are in the room right there. And then my filming room is right there. I do not keep my snakes near my, um, near my rats or like any of that stuff. Um, and it's like, it's just crazy. Cause like, you've never even seen my house. I have never even made a tour of this one or my old one. So like, I just don't understand where this comes from. So some of these comments is, um, she also claims to be vegan. I've never once in my life claimed to be vegan. So please find where I said that I was vegan and show it because these are the types of things that people are saying and it's not true. I've never claimed to be vegan in my entire life. I wear leather, my seats have leather in them and I have leather bags and leather shoes. I'm not bragging about that because you know, people eat cows and the leather has to be used somewhere and that's my belief. You don't have to believe that, but I've never claimed to be vegan. My brand is vegan because if I can make something vegan, great, we're gonna do that. Cause of course it saves more animals. So, you know, these are, these are the types of things that I'm reading and it's like, they're not founded on anything. I've never said that I was vegan. And it's funny because it's not funny. That's just like, a, it's a bad way to say that. I'll notice on Twitter, I'll get someone that will say, um, that will say, I thought you were vegan and I'm like, why you thought I was vegan because my brand is vegan like you just assumed that I'm vegan because my brand is vegan like where's the logic there that doesn't make sense to me so these are the types of comments that people are latching onto and spreading lies about she also claims to be vegan I'm not vegan I've never been vegan I, and I wear fur and sheepskin I don't wear sheepskin and I don't wear fur so these people don't understand anything and and eating meat and cheese I don't eat meat I eat cheese because I'm not a vegan so point is you cannot read everything or you can't listen and believe everything that you read on the internet because unfortunately it's it's unhappy people and you know what sometimes some things that people say on the internet are, are true this is not true none of this is true I'm not vegan I've never been vegan I don't abuse my animals and you, you can believe this if you'd like, or you can realize that there is literally, this is founded on nothing. It's just, it's, it does suck to like, I'm just a real person, you know? Like put yourself in someone's shoes that's like under fire for something that's a complete lie. Like it's just so, it's unfortunate. And you know, I'm not gonna play the victim here. I'm in the public eye. This is what I chose and I'll get through it. But I just need you to know that my animals are so well cared for. Like, you can ask anyone that's been to my house. You can ask anyone. You can even ask the zoologist that is currently in my house right now caring for my animals. My animals are so happy. They are so loved. It's uh, the amount of money that I spend on my animals per month. Oh my gosh, you guys. I shouldn't even, I'm not even gonna tell you how much I spend on my animals every month. My my electricity bill alone for keeping their enclosures the way that they're meant to be is $600 a month. Like it's a lot. I, I work very hard so that I can, you know, do that. And you guys watch my videos on my um, animal page and I take that AdSense revenue and I put it right back into my animals. And so 
I'm not gonna rehash it anymore. Unfortunately, this article is gone. I waited too long to do this. Um, and uh, let's see. Finally, someone's telling everybody that I'm not vegan. Just like someone, ca I called her out for eating a dairy spread and eggs and she said it isn't vegan. She said she isn't vegan and never claimed to be. She eats mostly vegetarian. I never said that. I am 100% vegetarian. Neither here nor there. Um, just know that not everything on the internet, just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's real. And please also know that like people that are just, that are on YouTube just because they have, you know, some followers and stuff like we're humans and we have a heart and a, and a life and we love we laugh we hurt we bleed the same as anyone else and i just wish that not even in just this respect or me just in general i just I want world peace honestly like i just i feel like i'm in like a beauty pageant but honestly i just wish that everyone could love each other and respect each other and like just let people be like i don't know it's just i i it's so much easier said than done obviously um now i'm gonna address the racism thing i addressed this last year when this happened and i apologized profusely in a video um not on youtube but on my instagram stories and i'm sure that can be found and that was referenced in this post as well the this post was updated with that information so i was at an award show if, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I just want to be 100% transparent and give you the facts and, you know, the facts of this are on the internet and the facts of this are that I was at a, I was at an award show last year in November. I had had a few drinks, not an excuse, not an excuse, never an excuse. Alcohol is never an excuse for anything, but it does, it does make you more carefree and like loose feeling. So that's why I say that. And um, Sweetie, who's a, who's a rapper that I actually really love, and I thought I was supporting her, and I was singing her song, and I tagged her in the story, and I was like so stoked to be there, and I sang the lyrics in the song, and N-I-G-G-A is in the song, and I sang that. And I was filming myself on my Instagram video, and honestly, I, I it didn't even occur to me that I had done something wrong. I just was singing the song and supporting it, and then some people were like, did you just say the N-word? And I was like, wait, what? And then I realized what I had done, and I felt fucking terrible. And I deleted it immediately, and I put up a video, or did, like Instagram stories about that and I was like I was in the, th the airport at the time and I was like I like it was like the next day or something I don't remember it was but I was at the airport and I remember I couldn't really sit down and film like a video because I was flying to Mexico but I felt terrible about it and I apologized and you know I apologize for offending anyone and I'm sure I offended a lot of people and I get it like it's it's not okay you know it's 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 just a sucky situation all the way around because I don't want to offend anybody and I love everyone. I don't care what color your skin is. Like I don't. And so that whole situation was, was terrible. And I found, okay, my bad. I think I just did like a too long of a clip, but anyways, so I felt terrible. I offended people. I, you know, I offended lots of people with that and I don't blame them. I, I understand, you know, and I, and I learned my lesson. I just can't, I can't, you, you have to consciously be aware of those things and, and give a good example and set a good example because so many people watch your YouTube channel. It's like, you feel just so bad letting people down, you know, and offending people. And that's how I felt. And I almost like broke down in tears at the airport cause I just felt terrible. And you know, I, I kept it together but those are the facts that's what happened with that and i apologized and i will never do that again and you have my word and it's like you have all you can do from doing something like that is like learn from it and apologize and you know it's always going to be on the internet and it's always going to get brought up and that's just that's just how it is you know and it sucks because you don't want to further offend more people that are now hearing about it that didn't hear about it then but it's like it is what it is it's there 
and I feel terrible about it and all you can do from that point forward is be a better person and try and set a better example and just and just make sure you are being anti-racist and like doing the things that you need to do which is what I've been trying to do with this movement I posted a lot of things on my story and I, I know some people are questioning my um, stance on the Black Lives Matter movement and all of that information, if you're curious at looking at it, I've highlighted it on my Instagram. It's called, it says, it has a heart and it says BLM. Um, I've donated to Reclaim the Block personally and I've donated to Color of Change. And like I said, 15% of Arctic Fox's profits this month are going to Color of Change. And I fully support it. I think it's, it's about time. <laughs> so, you know, because I made a mistake in a song and offended people, that doesn't make me racist. I'm not racist. I, there's no, I can't rehash it any more than that. And that's, that's all I've got, you know, all I can do is do better. And that's what I intend to do. And, you know, it's, I don't even know what else to say. I guess that's just, that's, those are the feelings. And I know my heart's, and people that know me know my heart and um, all I can do is tell you what happened, apologize as much as I can and just do better and just be a better person and, and just not, not allow things like that to happen because it's not okay. And I know that, I know that. And it's just, it's, it's a bummer, you know, it's, I, I needed, I need, I needed to, and I always need to, cause you're, you always are improving yourself, right? So you always need to be careful that you skip over those words and songs and don't offend people and just, and hurt others. Like that's, I guess the bottom line is like, you don't want to hurt other people. And the last thing I want to do is hurt other people. I want to uplift people and spread love and by me doing that, I wasn't doing that. And I know that, and I realize that, and I apologize for it. And so that's as much as I'm gonna, you know, I, I don't wanna rehash that completely. I feel like I kinda just did anyway, but I just wanted to be upfront with you guys if, if, you know, if you didn't know what it was that people are talking about, but I just am here to tell you that I love all people and I support the Black Lives Matter movement and I love everyone. And I, I appreciate you guys watching to this point and for those of you that know me and know my heart and soul and have you know said spoken out against people calling me an animal abuser or racist like i really appreciate you doing that because i'm sure you probably got some backlash which is why i don't really respond myself and i just would prefer to just put a video here because i don't want to start a dialogue where people get more upset but I just wanted to thank you for your support and your love. It does go a very long way. So, oh my gosh, I stink so bad. I got up this morning and did not take a shower or brush my teeth and here we are. Um, so that's gonna be the end of the video and I'm gonna take a break for a while for my mental health and you know I will be reposting Black Lives Matter and things to help support the movement on my story um, and I'll share a bit more about the horse trailer and kind of that story uh, soon but I want to give um, I want to give some space to the movement and let people be heard that need to be heard and I'm going to repost resources that I have and I've posted some of my stories so you can check that highlight. Um, again, thank you guys for listening and giving me an opportunity to like address this and just giving me your time in general. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much and I really hope that you guys are staying safe and um, and uh, staying sane with everything, all the lockdown and all that stuff. And also I wanted to address, um, someone mentioned a comment about me going on a date and not staying inside my house. Well, restaurants are open in California now. Um, you have to wear a mask. Sometimes you have to wear gloves, but um, 
it was my anniversary and we went, my boyfriend and I went on a date and restaurants are open here in San Diego. So I wasn't doing anything wrong. Um, I was following protocols and, um, I wouldn't, I, I, we're not in lockdown anymore here in San Diego. So anyways, I don't want to go on a tangent, but, um, I appreciate you guys listening again and, um, I will see you sometime in the near future. Please stay safe, stay well, and take care of yourself and your loved ones. Bye guys.